showing off today our new old biphase. This is our third edition of a remake of our original biphase and this one we've done as accurate as we can to the original circuit including uh, bleed bypass switch on the foot switches which actually means when the unit is off and it is not phasing that the signal is still traveling through the pedal and this is acting as a 30 volt RMS preamp to really beef up your piano or whatever instrument you're plugging into it. The other feature we've brought back is the manual sweep on the pedal. So just like the old unit, we can decide if we want to control the rate. With that expression pedal I have down on my foot, I can control the rate of, of either phaser. I can lock phaser B to sync with phaser A. you'll see that it's speeding up and slowing down the phaser. The other cool feature everybody seemed to want was the sweep, manual sweep. So I'm actually going to sweep the phaser through its... with my foot, more like a, a wah-wah sweep the filter through the frequency range. So we're really excited about the new biphase too. guitar board. We have our old favorites, our Boochtron 2, our Octavider Plus, and our Microtron 4. But what we do have new is a Mini Mu, the Tubetron, the Tremutron, and the Baby Phase. You'll notice these are all the same size as our, our flagship double pedals with the double blocks. These are single effects blocks, but many functions inside of them. Let's we'll start with the Mini Mu. Mini Mu is basically the same circuit as an original Mutron 3. All fine made, made here in the United States. It's our famous optical circuit, the same as in the Microtron 4, but we left out the control voltage both in and out, and we simplified the interface a little. For the down mode, there's internal jumpers to switch between up and down, there's also a handy feature inside that'll let you turn it into a clean boost when in bypass mode. So this pedal is now two pedals in one. It's a clean boost and it's an envelope filter. Next down the line we have the Tubetron. The Tubetron is is a Musitronics attempt to make a fine, high quality, hi-fi overdrive. We use a parametric EQ on the mids and there's a separate treble control. We have gain, overdrive level, and we have master output level. You can see it's very evenly balanced. I can completely take the mids out and the drive out and use it as a treble boost. Well, I still hear the string spacing and the articulation through the strings, but if I want to go the other way, I can also turn it into a high gain. Very pure uh, transparent tone here, high headroom. Moving along, we have the Tremutron. This is an optical tremu uh, that's basically our own circuit design that uh, we, we incorporate the preamp from the Mutron 3 and we use an optical circuit to basically offer you sine wave.
everything in between. There's a blend control to let you control the amount of intensity. And then finally, the baby phase. This is a replica circuit of the Phaser 2 with no frills. The only thing we added was a four, six stage phase to make it more friendly for overdrives. Great control, it's got that deep, clean neutron feedback. You still hear the string noise, you hear the guitar, you don't lose it, the headroom is amazing. There's no noise. Divider, yes, it's back just like you liked it. It adds a nice sub octave. We have a blend control between your dry and your sub octave signal. There's also a tone control for that sub octave. You can go from a, a almost a drain pipe sound to a nice a woody upright sound. Another control is the stabilize. We'll find on bass. Uh, it adds a nice uh, tracking correction to those lower gurgly notes. Or it can be turned off to really achieve that low F that everybody asks about. The other is, of course, the green ringer, which adds an octave up with a slight ring module and it really helps you cut through the mix. Uh, the bass only pedal will kill your dry signal and the upper octave, and it will also allow you to route a dry signal from here to another amplifier so you can preserve the bottom end. Moving along, we see the Octavider Plus. This is the sister pedal to the Octavider, and we decided that this is great, but how about we add an extra fuzz to it so you get the same bass circuit as this octavider. There is no separate out for dry signal, but the controls are the same. However, we did make a modification and we made the green ringer on a continuous knob so you can blend it in as opposed to on and off. It still has the tracking And we'll see that it has also an independent fuzz channel. This is an 18 volt high headroom fuzz that sounds great on bass and guitars and clavinets and roads, and it'll really help bring out those upper mid range frequencies of that ring modulator and those lower octaves. And of course, the Mini Mu. The Mini Mu is our new small under $200 envelope filter offering, completely true to the original Mutron 3 circuit, legendary. It has its peak control. It lets you control some quack and of course again, to find that perfect sweet spot high and low input levels as well as low pass, band pass, and high pass. It can be configured to be true bypass or bleed bypass and active bypass is what we call it where the gain stage is still in the loop. Also internally it can be changed between up and down direction. For you serious funk players out there that want one of each, this will let you dial in your up and down tones as we know, they can vary the settings to get the perfect sweet spot. Instead of buying one Microtron, you buy two Mini Muse. And when we activate that octave fuzz, we'll see that together, 
whether they're up or down, they sound great together. We'll see that the signal then carries on through our newest prototype, the Super Freak. The Super Freak is a dual stereo filter. Now, it can be configured to work in several ways. One way is as a standalone parametric EQ with a dry signal path. I can control dry signal into the and then filtered signal. The filtered signal can be swept from 20 hertz up to 1020k. It has a Q control as well. microphone's going to pick up these subsonic frequencies. I can take a dry signal away completely and add some earth shaking bass. The routing allows us to route the pedal dual mono or stereo or I can come in cascading mono and one into the other or I can come in with one single one and have it. A single instrument go to two amps, or two instruments go to two amps. So, it can stand alone and work as a sweepable filter, and an envelope filter. There we go. So now I have it in envelope filter mode. I can run the envelope filter A into the parametric EQ of B. Here you'll see I only have my dry tone has been removed, but now my envelope filter tone is going into filter B. I can take away the... This allows me to take the envelope tone now and control that level and add back some of that bottom here with the parametric EQ. So it really works well together. The other handy mode that this either side can be configured is a wah-wah. And we'll see down here, I can connect any standard sort of expression pedal to now control this much like any standard wah-wah. pedal as well. By connecting an expression pedal, we can turn either side into an envelope filter or a wah-wah pedal or both. So if you're running a stereo keyboard rig and you want a wah-wah on both channels, this will do it for you. Very much inspired by the Mutron Wah-Wah as well as the Mutron 3 and, and other sort of state variable filters of the past. This is a Swiss Army knife, whether you're a bass player, and a studio producer, guitar player, keyboard, it's an amazing pedal if you like filtered tone on your instrument.